Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? As mentioned in the daily financial news, it is Thursday. Thursday, we do the daily show early because at 730, we talk to the one and only Jonathan Twomley. How are you doing this morning, sir? I am very well, except this week, I'm not a legend. Huh? Oh, just, I'm sorry. Uh... Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, guess what? You'll be a legend in the next two. How about that? <laughs> I'm, a legend in, I'm, a, I'm a legend in my own mind. That's uh, that's good enough. Well, Matt, so. you've you have done something legend legendary in the last 24 hours. We are going to talk about here in episode one, uh, and I want to talk about kind of how you did it. Want to tie it in with what you teach and mentor folks. But uh, you know, you were able to soft raise over three million dollars in a 24 hour period. That is not easy to do. It's hard to replicate. Uh, I saw your post this morning and agree with you. There's only two keys to doing it. But yeah, you congratulations. Three million bucks, 24 hours. Uh, I think that speaks to who Jonathan Twomley is and, and why I'm well, honored that you're one of my experts every week. Well, I appreciate that, Michael. Thank you. But this is something that like, you know, I, I mean, in a sense, everybody can do it, right? It is not, it is not a complicated process. This is literally two steps. It's, when I say it, it's going to sound really oversimplified, but the two steps are build a list of investors and offer them good deals, right? And that's really all it is. Now, obviously that's a, that's a big over, oversimplification because uh, raising, you know, building a list is a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. And then finding good deals is a difficult thing to do. Yeah. Uh, but when you can get both of those things kind of going at the same time, uh, they reinforce each other into a, a beneficial cycle where, mm -hmm. you know, every deal is an advertisement for the next deal. When you do deals, people refer their friends uh, and you, you start building, you know, this, this, this upward spiral that, that, that propels you upward, right? And the, the real problem though, for most people is how you get that started, right? Yes. How you, how, cause you've got to get the deals going and you've got to get the, the lists going. Now, contrary to what people think, uh, and, and contrary to what I thought when I started, honestly, is that it's easier to get the money than it yeah. is to get the deal. I, right? uh, I agree with that a thousand percent. I would yeah. have never thought that. Uh, but yes, being in the business now, raising millions of dollars myself, never in a 24-hour period, though. I've never done that. Well, I've uh, never done this before either, this, but this is, this is how, what happens when you focus for a long time of building your list. Exactly. Right? So, exactly. Um, but the, you know, when I first got into the business, people will tell me this all the time. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's easier to raise the money than it is to yeah. get the deals. The money is everywhere. The deals are limited. And to me, that sounded completely ridiculous because you could just get online and see lots of listings for stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, but going to getting the money seemed like, how, how do you do this? You know, right. it's, it seemed very daunting. And then, you know, first you think, well, you've got to find some, a bunch of really rich people and ask them for money. And then they're going to look at you and say, you have no track record. And what, why would I give you money? And that, yeah. that does, that does happen. Right. You know, and you, you still should be talking to those folks anyway, building those relationships for the future. Mm -hmm. But the real way that this, that this works is you need to build a list of, you know, smaller investors. And what I mean by that is, people who are accredited and can invest, mm -hmm. you know, 50,000, $100,000 uh, into your deals. And it really is a numbers game, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about the $3 million raise, I mean, that's like 20 or 30 people who okay. raise their hands out of a list of over 5,000 people, right? So- Ah, look, I mean, that people need to hear that, right? 5,000 yeah. people you've accumulated. And again, you got, let's just say it was 30. So that's, that's not even 1% raising their hand. Yeah. So this is, this is definitely a numbers game. Exactly. And, uh, and, and I know that there are more in that list. Oh, know, for who sure. Haven't responded. And You've only hit it once. Right? You've only hit the list once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And actually the numbers are better than that because the, the, almost all of those people came from like the short list of about 300 people who oh. have previously who have previously raised their hands yeah. to, to invest, right? So yes, you want to build that. But let's let's talk a little bit about how you actually... Um, well, actually, build. before you do that, I want to, I want to highlight this because this, uh, people just need to hear this up front. You're at, what you're about to go through, you're teaching people in your multifamily launchpad, right? 
you've actually got yes. some stuff that they can reach out to, they can download. So let's not, let's not shortchange it. You're helping people start momentum. And it's that momentum that is the hardest thing to do, right? You're teaching them how to get that rock moving. Uh, so yeah. let's, let's make sure we hit that. Yeah, it's like, so, so thank you for reminding me. We actually, you know, in multifamily Launchpad, we actually open one day per month and that day is today. So if you want to join, uh, you can go to uh, multifamilylaunchpad.org slash join slash. And that'll take you to the webpage um, where you can join. You might have to put the HTTPS colon backslash backslash before it. It's not www. Okay. Uh, and I don't know why that I, it's a tech thing. I don't understand. <laughs> My webmaster says it. That's the way it has to be. Uh, um, but I mean, because it's like a hidden, I think it's because it's, it's a like hidden a page. Yeah. It's a hidden page. So that's why it's not www. Okay. So, um, so you have to go to uh, that site. But anyway, that the, the program will teach you all this stuff in great detail, like much more detail oh, yeah. than I can go into here. Plus, if you're in the program, then you get access to me to ask all the questions you have. Like if you want to come up, you know, and ask me like, John, do you think this is a good idea? Mm -hmm. Is this going to work? Is this not going to work? You know, stuff like that. That's, that's, that's really the benefit of the program is you get access to me for, for questions. So, and all the details are on the page. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk a little bit about how you actually build a list, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it's essentially like some of you are probably already in business in some other business and you're already doing this you just didn't realize that it, it applies to multifamily or whatever real estate you know or what michael's doing or any kind of real estate you want to invest in where you want to raise investor money and, and syndicate deals you um you have to build a what's called a funnel you need to build a your investor funnel and basically at the top you think about it like a giant funnel there are a lot of people going in the top and only a few people coming out the bottom right and uh, you want to get them into your funnel somehow, right? And convert them from someone who's basically interested, right? That's mm -hmm. the top of the funnel to giving you money, which is the bottom of the funnel, right? And that conversion process takes them essentially from like, you know, interested generally to knowing a little more about you, to committed to working with you, to like see, to actually looking at deals, to act then and then finally to actually putting money into a deal that you offer them. Mm -hmm. And so you can see that every step of the way, there's going to be fewer and fewer people, which is why you need to have to build a big list, right? But what you want to do, the first step in this process, and this is this is the part that like I didn't get when I first started out, and I, it, it just didn't make sense to me because I didn't have a marketing background, and I, hmm. God, I wish I had known this sooner. Hmm. <laughs> but and I'll tell you who the master of this was, was Joe Fairless, right? Ah, yes. Joe Fairless, who had a marketing background, like he was a marketer. That was his that business was his thing, going yeah. into real estate. He and I started out at exactly the same time. He was in New York and you can see how, I mean, he's just blown up huge. And it's all because of his marketing skills. And what he did was he said, I have no experience in this field at all. Who am I? I'm nobody. So what I'm going to go and do is associate myself with all these people who do have influence in the field and let some of their magic rub off on me in the eyes of investors. Yes. And I'm going to build an audience of people who then think I'm special just because I know I talked to you. I people. know other special people. Yeah. Right. And so he started a podcast mm -hmm. right now. It doesn't have to be a podcast, but podcasting is a great medium or YouTube videos or both. You can use the same mm -hmm. content for both. That's yep. even better. Um, but you need some kind of way of getting, of attracting people into your funnel, right? And obviously you want to start, the easiest way to start is to, if you want to attract real estate investors, you do something related to real estate because they're looking for it, right? They're already mm -hmm. searching out the podcasts and the blogs and the, mm -hmm. the Facebook groups and whatever else it could be. Uh, and I also want to just mention too, while I'm talking on the topic that the top of your funnel could be the way that people used to do the top of the funnel, which was go out, just go out and talk to a lot of people one on one. Yeah. Right. That and that, and the benefit of that actually is that you need fewer people that way yeah. because those pe people who are willing to like meet with you and talk with you in person mm -hmm. are already way more interested than someone who is just like, yeah, I'm kind of interested in real estate. I like listening to yeah. podcasts. They typed in the the one keyword that brought you to them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's entertaining. It's entertaining, and I can dream about investing <laughs> or something. Right. You yeah. think about who, who's listening to a podcast. Like 
say a bigger pockets podcast, which is huge, millions of downloads. But how many of those people are actually ever going to do anything? Right. Most of them are just yeah. fantasizing about it. But someone who's going to come and like meet you, you know, for a for a meeting where you're going to talk about your business, like they are way interested. Yeah. So you commitment as many. Yeah. yeah. You don't need as many of those people, right? Uh, but anyway, but but let's just say let's go on the. If you're someone like me who actually, you know, despite all my social media stuff, uh, I'm actually introverted, which means that I get I get worn out talking with people. Mm-hmm. very easily i can't i just i can't like extroverts get charged up they love it they get like energized by being in a big crowd of people and talking to people like that's not me i after two or three conversations like I'm, 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 <laughs> where's I'm my room that. i'm gonna go hide so, i gotta go take a nap right or whatever <laughs> so so you know like i've always said to people it's easier for me to like stand up in front of a room of a thousand people and talk than it is for me to like have a conversation with one person that yeah I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have, have 10. Yeah. Talk in front of a thousand or have 10 one-on-one conversations. I'll take this standing in front of a thousand people, please. Yeah. Well, there's more leverage that way too, but I'm just, yeah. I just find that to be, yeah, no, I get it. to be yeah. easier to do than yeah. to like, like go and talk with a lot of people one-on-one. Cause then you got to make small, you know, you're up on the stage. You can talk about whatever you want to. Like when you're like talking to one, you got to make small talk and yeah. it's like, eh, I don't care. Yeah. You know? So, um, but anyway, so Social media, and I'm going to include everything in that, mm-hmm. YouTube, podcasts, blogs, yep. whatever it is, all yep. that stuff allows you to reach a lot of people at the same time and get your message out and to people who are interested. So you want to start something like this, like what Michael's doing, or a podcast, or a blog, or a Facebook group, or whatever it is, mm-hmm. uh, hopefully there's new channels coming out there because a lot of those channels are pretty, pretty, you know, s- solidly packed with competitors, but still mm-hmm. it's, those are, those are great mediums. And even if they are packed with competitors, one of the great things about say a podcast is that you will, there, you know, there are tons of podcasts out there, right? but every host is different and every yeah. and their take on things is different and the way they conduct the podcast are, is different. And you're going to naturally kind of draw people who like the way you do it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and, and they'll be your loyal fans. And you don't need to have, you know, millions of them. You just need to have, you know, in the high hundreds of mm-hmm. people I, like that who, I agree. who are followed, who were like your fans, right? And so you need to establish something like that. The second important step is that whatever that is that you choose to do, to commit to you know, your podcast at least once a week, or if you're doing blog posts, or mm-hmm. frankly, even if you're doing it like on LinkedIn, LinkedIn can be good if you're like consistently posting oh, on LinkedIn. For sure, you can build a you can build a following there. But the key is that you have to be consistent about follow about you know what you're doing because people are a going to expect to hear from you. They want to hear from you. Yep. But also, if they don't hear from you for a while, there's so much other noise out there. Yeah. That they're just going to forget all about you. Right? Somebody else will grab that mind space from you if you're not being consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, that, so that's the top of the funnel. The next, and this is the critical, absolute critical, 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 critical piece. Without this, all your effort is completely pointless. Whatever way you're, the top of your funnel works, mm-hmm. you have to have some way of capturing their email address. Yeah. If you don't get their email address, you might as well just not bother with any of this. So that's the critical thing. So how do you get somebody from your Facebook group or your podcast or your whatever it is onto an email list? Well, you offer them some good reason to give you your email, their email address, Mm -hmm. which is you offer them some bonus content, some free content, or sometimes even works a very low priced content. Some you can even charge money for this sometimes, but some very low priced offer. And the advantage of that is actually then you're really kind of, you know, you're going to get fewer people because they're asking them to pay, but the people who come onto your list mm-hmm. are going to be more committed and more yep. interested. Yep. So if you put out like a $7 ebook or something like that, you know, anybody who's willing to pony $7 is a lot of money, but if they're willing to actually whip out their credit card mm-hmm. and pay you seven bucks for something, that means that they are like further along that, tri- that line of commitment to you than someone who just is going to get a freebie, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. So, so you build your list by consistently putting out your free content and then, you know, that's attracting people in and then 
converting them to email subscribers by getting you know onto your list because you've given them some ethical bribe it's called mm -hmm. and then because you're giving them value for their email address mm -hmm. right the next thing you should do is offer them an easy way to get off your email list if yeah. they don't want to be on it so even in your introduction to email you can say to them and you know this may sound counterintuitive because you're thinking like oh i don't want people leaving my email list but you should say in the very first email you send me hey here's the thing you asked for i'm going to be sending you a lot of email if you don't want that email here's the just click this button click this link yeah click the link you'll be off the list you'll never hear from me again and the reason you actually want to do that is because you don't really want a list full of people who don't want what you're offering yeah right Great. It, the numbers don't matter to you like some people get this like you know big like you go oh my list is a hundred thousand people yeah but if ninety nine thousand of them are not buyers you don't care don't right care. you rather have a list of a thousand buyers and a list of you know a hundred thousand people who don't buy mm -hmm. so so you want you want to and also it makes you look good. and for the people who are like on the fence it makes them feel oh this guy is not like trying to scam me he's like mm -hmm. being up front saying a telling me i'm going to be getting a lot of email and be saying if you don't like it it's fine yep, take, push that please button. take your free, take your free download and, and good luck you know yep. so that that builds trust and credibility with people that's awesome so now you've got them on the on your email list and you need to do something to keep them warm on your email list and that could be just sending a daily email you know about uh what's going on in, in like investment world educating them a little bit and then uh, the other thing i uh, i suggest that people do is uh, actually i do this uh with like my list because i'm also offering a multi-family launch pad mm -hmm. i have a i have a i've set up my email system so i have a ps mm -hmm. where it says hey if you don't want to hear about multi multi-family launch pad but you want my investment opportunities click this link Mm -hmm. And it'll automatically put you onto other list. So, you, so you'll still, you'll only hear from me when there's an investment, and you won't hear from me the rest of the time. Makes right? sense. So, that, so, and some people surprisingly still want to get those emails. I mean, even though they're never going to be a multifamily launchpad member, they like my email, so they they stay on, which yeah. kind of surprises me too. But I guess they people like to read it. So, yeah, and it helps build a relationship. So that you know that way you can have people who are only hearing about your investments, or you can have people who are, you know, on your general list and it's better you're giving people what they want that way and then again just as with the content you want to consistently be reaching out to people in a in a not annoying way right mm -hmm. um you can you can remind them all the time that hey i do deals and i'm going to be offering you deals um but you, as long as you're providing them some other interesting content or you know entertaining content uh they'll they'll be fine with it and yeah. and then finally the last step is so when you've got deals to offer them now you've got this pre-built audience and you can build an audience doing this pretty quickly right i mean it, it is you can build your list up to a couple thousand people with you know in a year doing mm -hmm. this if oh, you do it sure. consistently without and it's without and this is not like an all-day job right this is this is going to take you a few hours a week to do it but if you do this work consistently a few hours a week you will build that list so uh, and then when you're starting out, probably the way that a lot of people get started actually in deals is by raising money for someone else because mm -hmm. finding the deals is really tough. Or you know, you may find a deal, but your list may not be big enough yet, right? right? To to pull it to take it down yourself. So partner with other people who can, you know, who can contribute their list to your deal and offer them a piece of your your deal, right? So mm -hmm. or you can work with other people and help them raise money, and that gets you started on that piece of like having something to offer them, right? Because if you right. never offer them anything, then they're going to get tired and they're going to go away, right? So you, when you offer them and they get into a deal and they're excited, they start telling other people, it helps you build your list, it helps build their appetite. All the people who didn't invest get fear of missing out, they want to get into the next one. Mm -hmm. So that helps build the list too. So, you know, it, but you can start with the building the list. You don't need to, to be an expert yet. You can align yourself with other experts, get them on your podcast or get them into your group or whatever, whatever methodology you pick, which is most comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. And it should be the most comfortable for you because that's what you'll do. Yeah, right? totally agree. You want to pick something that you'll do. So whatever you can, you can be successful numerous ways with this, but you have to do it consistently. So do pick something that you like, give it the time to work. It will take time, mm -hmm. but it will work if you give it time. So uh this is basically that's how that's how you build a list yeah and so 
if you want to learn more about this, come join Multifamily Launchpad. We can talk about it yep. uh, more in the, in the group and you can see the materials there. But that's the basics of how you do it. Yeah, again, folks, you need to join Multifamily Launchpad. If you have the dreams or you want to understand what it takes to, to be able to, I can't even, it's, it's hard to say, raise $3 million in a 24-hour period. It takes work. It takes consistent work. It takes commitment, but it is possible. And Jonathan, I loved how you started this. You're like, everybody can do it. It's, you know, but are you willing to do the work? Yeah. I mean, everybody, and this is, this is not complicated. Yeah. Right? It's, exactly. it's not, it's, it is actually very simple, but it's not easy in the sense yes. that like you can't, you can't set it and forget it. Right. You actually have to put in the work, but like I said, this is not, it's not a full-time job, but mm -hmm. you can do this. It's going to take you three, four hours a week. Right. And, you know, and then something we can get into the weeds of like, what it takes to put on a podcast and you know you have to pay some money but there's different ways yeah. you, know, you can do it like i mean there's cheap ways to do it expensive ways to do it like all kinds of different ways to do it but it's going to take some commitment yeah. and some and some time right um but there are even people you can pay to go do it all for you right yeah. if you're willing to pony up the money yeah. right and do the whole thing set up they'll set up your funnel you know yeah. you, pay, you can pay them thirty thousand bucks they will set up your website set up your funnel do your marketing like the whole thing for you if you've got that kind of money yeah. uh, but if you don't you know you can set this all up yourself and, and to get started and it's you know and you can start building the success from yeah. there so folks do yourself a favor check out the descriptions below i finally spent some money on my descriptions one of the things we did is we highlighted all of the experts that are part of our series and jonathan twomley has some of the most amazing content in the list below do yourself a favor, join Multifamily Launchpad. The day is open. Again, 3 million bucks, 24 hours. Everybody can do it. Jonathan, that is why you are a legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Michael. You and I love to, and frankly, listen, I love teaching stuff. I love teaching the students. That's that's really what my passion is. Maybe even more than doing the deals themselves, actually teaching people how to do them. That's awesome. It's just what I, what I like to do. So come join the group. It's great. You'll love Very it. Very cool. Thanks, man.